Actel 4x4, welcome back to another one. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys might have noticed the new plates I have on the truck. We've transferred them from the Jeep to the truck now. It's official. We are the YouTubers. So let's go to the back of the truck. Today we are going to be talking about winter essentials. So it's actually a pretty beautiful day today. Um, we have the sun out, the snow is melting, but we're still in January. So I figured, you know, this will be a great idea and we will talk about what I have in the back here, what is good for you guys, what I feel would be beneficial for you guys for your Jeeps or your trucks. Let's get to it. Okay, so in no particular order, I got a bunch of things out here and I'm just gonna start off with one item and then go to the next. So these are the things that I carry in the back of my truck, sometimes even during summer. But these are fantastic for winter. The first thing I carry are these pylons. Now, these ones are slightly cracked up, but these are fantastic. They're really good because let's say you get stranded or you got stuck on the road, you can put these around your vehicle and hopefully other cars will see you and you can stay safe with these. So I'd highly recommend carrying any type of pylon with you to avoid any serious accidents. The next thing that I carry is a snow brush. So this one is really nice, it's telescopic. It's really good if you have like a truck or if you have a Jeep, uh, you know, it gets a little tough to reach out. It also, I believe, swivels. I haven't really used this much, but yeah, it's really good. Pick this one up from Canadian Tire, a local Canadian shop here in Canada, eh? <laughs> Next thing I got is a first aid pack. Now, I haven't really gone through this myself, so let's discover it. But I figured this is always good. I mean, it has gauzes, it has um, antibacterial wipes and all that stuff, band-aids. It's always good to have a first aid kit in your truck or Jeep. Windshield washer, man's best friend. So in wintertime slush ice, we tend to use a lot of windshield washer and so it's always good to keep an extra, an extra bottle in your truck. Now this is good for minus 40 Celsius. So I'll see if I can actually pull it around to the English side. Right over there, protects up to 40 Celsius in uh, all season windshield washer. So. I carry an extra bottle just because you never know when you'll run out of it. Next thing that I would like to mention is jumper cables. So this is good if your truck or Jeep gets stuck, but then let's also talk about other people that are out there that are stranded. And if you have one of these, it's always fantastic to have so you can actually help someone out and be a good Samaritan out there, right? So carrying these are a huge essential in my opinion. Next thing I have over here is a shovel. So this shovel expands. It's a, it's a Yukon Charlie's brand right over there. Picked this one up from Canadian Tire, I believe. Um, and so this is really good to get yourself out of a sticky situation in the snow or if you needed to help someone else out. I like to keep this just in case one of the two. I mean, we all have four wheel drive, but you just never know. Last but not least, is this jerry can. I'll just give me a second here. They have smaller ones that are also available, but this one is a is a real mighty one. And um, yeah, you know what? It's, it's really good to have for yourself or for another vehicle out there that may be stranded. You can never go wrong with carrying an extra jerry can with you. All right, so <laughs> make sure it's full. Make sure it's full. That one wasn't. Got you there. That's what I carry in my truck. This is what I wanted to share with you. Um, it's not too late. We are in January, but if you don't have some of these and you think that you could use some of these, go to your local auto shop and pick up some of these. I mean, you still have a couple of more months of winter and then you have next year. These things last forever, almost. All right, reaching new heights here. So, that sums up what I feel is important for you guys to have during these crazy winter months. If you guys enjoyed what you saw today, please give me a thumbs up. I'll remind you that there's a subscribe button that is gonna appear somewhere at the bottom. 
you know where the real one is. So make sure you punch it because it would mean a lot and it would show your support. And we'll catch you guys soon. Take care. Bro, how the hell do I get down now? Can you help me? <laughs> uh, recovery strap? <laughs> no? All right. Oh, you can cut now, bro. Cut. This is like embarrassing right over here. Uh. Take care.